Austin Hester again, time for Crab Part 3, Model Selection. We're going to go into some of the metrics used. We're doing our regression task this time, so uh, we can't use accuracy. Uh, so we're using mean squared error, mean absolute error, and the R2 score mainly. Explained variance is similar to R2, but R2 is better in general. Uh, so the scatter plot so this was untrained this was after about a hundred epochs here um, we can see that linears is getting there uh, the complex models are starting to line up very well uh, so 16 8 is some more out there but then we see 4 and 2 they constantly say 5 for some reason um, so that's weird but eventually we go on to pick the best model and that is going to be 8-1, which we find out later is too complex, but we'll keep going anyway and tune the hyperparameters. We'll go with optimizers. So these make minor difference, but this SGD, stochastic gradient descent, it goes crazy here. Uh, so yeah, and end up choosing our final model. Uh, with a learning rate scheduled and the mean squared error loss function. Uh, so yeah, we, we can um, go on to our next feature selection. Might have been good to choose the features before this though, um, because it turns out that cutting out features made this model too complex.